really excited about this sale uh, for, a, for a while now. In fact, the reason I know about this neighborhood is because I used to come to a yard sale in this subdivision many years ago. In fact, the last time that I came to a yard sale with my sister, it was, like, it was October of 2021. And every time I'd go to a sale, I'd be like, what do I have to do to live in this neighborhood? Like, what do I have to do? think we were going to be able to move. We had tried selling our house twice before in previous years and you know it wasn't down market and we had such a horrible, I mean honestly kind of traumatic experience that I said that we would never do it again. Well that November, so November 2021, I just had the idea of well let me just look to see if we could even afford a house in this neighborhood. Knowing that there was going to be a very slim chance because this neighborhood only has, I think, 650 houses. A lot of them are well beyond our price range, like, well, well, like twice our price range. And at the time, there weren't that many houses for sale, so I knew it was just gonna be like, it was a total dream, basically, to be able to even think about buying houses. I got a pink lemonade squeezed from fresh pink lemons in the backyard, and a locally made donut at one of the last stops. Whenever I see a kid out there selling stuff, I have to stop and support the young entrepreneurs. Now, sometimes I don't eat this stuff. I'll just buy it because kids cooking food just really grosses me out. Any Anybody else feel that same way? I mean, sometimes it just, you can look at a kid and just know that they uh, tested the food, licked their fingers, and then kept making it, or uh, had unclean hands, sat on the counter, and cooked, you know, with their next to the food. Anybody else weird like that? Or is that just me and my little Howie Mandel that's come out?
the next challenge was to be able to find a house in this neighborhood that was going to be within our price range. So my sister had a friend whose husband and her were a realtor team, so I immediately called and messaged them once I had a mortgage approved. Told them, you know, I was looking very specifically in a very specific neighborhood, what our budget was. He said he knew that there was something coming up in January. So a couple houses came on the market between Thanksgiving and January. We were waiting for our a certain one to come on the market. They were either not at the layout and size that we needed or just way, way, way above our price range. The January rolls around, house finally comes up. We go to look at it the first, very first day that it's listed and they have showings back to back. Yeah, so we love the house. Immediately we just love the house. It just feels, it just has that certain feeling to it. Like this, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for this entire time. So at this time, it's, the interest rates are really low, but it's a very, very competitive market. It's really a seller's market. We knew that the price that the house was listed for was not going to be what it was going to sell for. So we were told up front just to make a best and final offer. They were taking best and final offers for like three days. Like that was it. It was such a short period of time. Uh, so, I mean, we didn't want to drain the swamp, so to speak. We wanted to, we need to have money left over in the bank. We made our best offer and said, well, we don't get it. It's just, it's just not meant to be. That's all the money that we have that we can afford to spend on a mortgage every month. And a few days later, surprisingly, our agent called us and told us we got the house. I mean, absolutely shock and odd because the first house that we had, it took us over a year to find. And then this house, it was the very first house that we had looked at in person. The very first offer we put, we put on any house, obviously, and we got it. I just could not believe it. Anyway, so that's the house story, and that's why there was over a year between some of the videos that I had posted. I was just way too busy with fixing up our old house to get ready to sell, moving. I had kids that were going to a new school. It was just a lot going on back then. So in case you were wondering, that's what happened. I was just too busy, and I was trying to use my spare time wisely. Not really spare time, but trying to use my time wisely and continue to make sales because I'm not making money off of these YouTube videos right now. That's why it's also important if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe because that's going to help me make more videos for you. I think I had a pretty successful day at the yard sale. I don't know how much I got to sell, but I did get a good amount of stuff, you know, for personal use, so it's definitely worth it for that. So let me show you what I did get. Okay, the big barracuda today for me was the shelves. I got these from a neighbor who was two doors down. He brought them over for me. These were only $10 each. Really needed these, because um, as you can see on our garage, it's a huge mess. We are redoing it right now. And I just bought six shelving units from Sam, so here's, Two more. The ones I got from Sam's are like 70 bucks each and these are only 10. So I might bring back some of those. The same sale, I got this Dyson fan. Might possibly use that in my garage area. And these two clear pantry bins. And those are five dollars. This was five dollars and the pair of these are five dollars. Okay, here is my loaded down cart. See some goodies there. I can see at least one bolo. A lot of stuff for personal use. Okay, so we got the two shelves in. I got to load it up. This is my consignment stuff here. And yes, this garage is very messy right now. 
It's a work in progress, but we're all friends here, and this is real life. This is what it looks like right now. It's a lot better than before. Okay, so this is my consignment stuff, and this is more of my reselling stuff. This side needs a lot of work. I need a smaller container to put down here. This one's just a little bit too tall, and then another container for these linens. Oh, don't look at that side. Still working, still working. And then the Dyson fan I got, it does work. Unsure if I'm gonna keep this or sell it. It doesn't put out as much air as I thought it would. It is pretty quiet though, uh, considering. Even if I just keep that for out here in the garage, like right now, it, I mean, it, it feels pretty good just standing in front of it. It's not gonna put out a lot where, you know, 10 feet away I'm gonna feel it though. Okay, haul time, let's see what I got. Okay, a lot of this stuff is for personal use. Some of these things I didn't even look up because they were so cheap. I figured it can just go to the kids consignment sale if it's something I decide I don't want and it's maybe not worth selling on eBay or Mercari, something like that. So I got this giant Darth Vader plushy pillow. Now we do Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween decorations and sometimes also for Christmas. These things aren't worth anything, they're definitely keepers for me. We got this Oogie Boogie. <laughs> And then we have the mayor. I think his head's supposed to spin, uh, but he needs new batteries. I can't remember if I have this guy or not. I know I have the one that it just his regular black and white stripe outfit, and I have it on the Halloween wreath, but here's the Christmas version, and I'll find somewhere to put him. He's poseable. Well, we can't forget about Zero. All of those stuffed animals are $5 for the entire thing. All those Nightmare Before Christmas items. <laughs> I'm not sure if this guy's worth selling anything. It's Douglas, uh, this Highland cattle ox. I'm not sure. I'm not a farmer or zoologist, but I've never seen this kind of animal before. Nothing else is going to consignment. This is for my daughter. Tough cookie shirt. This was two bucks, a little bit more than I normally pay for a used t-shirt. It is Oshkosh and it pretty much looks brand new and she's obsessed. I was gonna say with cookies are really any food, so this was really hard. Had to get it. Okay, these clothes. I got all of these clothes that I'm about to show you for $5 total for my daughter. Got a pair of shorts. These floral shorts for me. Minnie Mouse Rock the Dot shirt. I love that. That was from a few years ago. A pair of sparkly pants for my daughter. Another shirt for me. This one's a little oversized, but I like it. And then this one might go to my son if he likes it. Guy Grogu says the best day ever. Just one of those I think that somebody made. I got this Minecraft lamp and it plugs into the computer. Probably going to my son. He loves Minecraft. He plays it uh, probably all day long, but that's his hobby. Okay, this is brand new. I didn't even look this up. It's five bucks. It's Star Wars Force Band. It goes to the BB-8 or the BB-9. I'm not sure of the droid names. Uh, my son does have this. I'm not sure if he's still playing with it. I figure if nothing else, when he is ready to sell, uh, his BB-8 Spiro, you know, it can go with it. I did not look this up, but for five bucks for the entire bag for this Fitbit Bursa, I have a Fitbit on myself. I got this at one of the last church sales I went to for only two bucks, it works perfectly. If nothing else, this is gonna go to my husband. The lady said it probably works. She just wasn't, you know, sure how to use electronics very well. She was an older lady, but look, it's got all these bands in it, screen covers, got the watch itself. Looks like the chargers. Oh my gosh. And there's a second watch. I didn't even see that there was two watches in here. Five bucks for this entire bag of Fitbits. I'm wondering, do I like the bigger band? I might, I might keep one of these myself. We'll see. We'll see. Real nice. Can't beat that. Okay, and I got two plushies for free. They're pretty well loved this one i don't know what happened on the back here she's got a hole in the back of her head it's all once in a very good mommy and she's very very stained free figured i figured out later if not she can get donated to the thrift store this is a wrinkles pup some of them are bolos he's a puppet he's got a hole in the back of his head i think he's only worth like 20 bucks and he's got doo-doo on him looks like he's been rolling in the mud outside but again this was this was just free at the yard sale figured i'm not out anything I think all of these clothes and for everything here was twenty dollars for what I'm about to show you. And I'm not gonna keep repeating. I didn't look. I didn't look any of this stuff up because some of it, like I figured, we can use for personal use. Uh, this is an unspeakable thermos. 
my kids love this guy's channel on YouTube. They are, they've been watching it for a long time, so I recognize that guy right away. Okay, we got this Pottery Barn thermos set. These are only a dollar a piece. This Minecraft thermos pretty much looks brand new. In fact, it's still got the sticker on it, one buck. And all of these clothes are gonna be for my nephew. He's five, almost six. He thinks he's going on 25, but all this stuff is for him. Got a Ninja Turtle robe, cute little plaid shirt, Minecraft shirt, which he does not play, but he will tell you that he's playing because again, he thinks that he's grown and he wants to be a big kid. Another Minecraft shirt, dinosaur shirt, and then a dinosaur polo. All of these pretty much look brand new. They were pretty much 25 cents to a dollar a piece. Got him a, a coat. He probably won't wear this a whole lot, only when he's forced to, I'm sure for those, you know, one or two days that are cold. And you know, this one looks oddly familiar. He might already have this. We're going to Disney in a few weeks and this would be a good, you know, rain jacket for him if we happen to need it. The jackets were only two bucks. Again, if he doesn't end up using them, I could sell them at the kids consignment sale. Now this one I have to look up. This is an unspeakable jacket. So that like the thermos may be worth selling on eBay. We'll find out. Now the unspeakable merch I believe is only sold on his website and the last time I looked at it, it was pretty pricey. I was thinking about getting my kids some of that stuff for Christmas but uh, not not in my price range and it's not like something they had asked for. It just seemed like something they might like because they like that channel. Okay, one of the last yard sales I went to the biggest the biggest score was the step two Christmas tree toddler Christmas tree. That was only 10 bucks and then she gave me the rest of everything else that I got for $2. So 12 bucks for everything I'm about to show you. So that includes the step two tree. This cute little cat cupcake. It's from Gabby's Dollhouse. That might end up going to my daughter. A Woodstock Knit Plush. This is probably only worth like 10 bucks, but it's Bucky's. You know my love for Bucky, so I had to get it. You know, I thought it was a puppet, but now that I look at it, I think it's actually a golf club cover. Other stuffed animals were from another sale. They were only 50 cents each. Got these two lovies. This one's missing a tag. I don't know what the brand is. Another fox. And I'm thinking this might be a Pottery Barn one because it's got these uh, tied ends. And it's missing the tag though, but I'm pretty sure it's a Pottery Barn one. We'll look it up later. Again, 50 cents. I wasn't gonna worry about looking it up. It'll go to kids consignment sale. There's a little bunnies by the bay. If it's not worth anything, Nova is going to love this. She loves these pom-pom small stuffed animals. So that might end up going to Nova. Little bunny boo with the little plushy feet. The flamingo. This one I know is not worth anything. I see this, this flamingo almost every single time I go to the thrift store. But for 50 cents, it's going to go to my daughter. She has a little beanie boo collection. This one is too. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not worth selling. But my daughter likes these. And anytime I can get them, you know, really cheap. I'll give them to her. And I got these bananas and pajama guys. Those are to sell. I think they were worth at least 25 for the pair. Two Pier 1 candles. They were a dollar each. Brand new. You know, they actually smell good. And I usually don't like most candles. Yeah, they have a nice smell to them. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I thought this was hilarious. This little armadillo brass figurine. I think brass animals are so cool. Again, if he's not worth anything, he's just gonna go on my little bookshelf display in my living room. I thought it was funny. I had a visceral reaction when I saw this guy, so I had to get him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at this fat, fat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I normally don't end up keeping non- you know, Disney plush for myself, but if this one's not worth anything, he's gonna go on my little plush collection that's on my couch in my office. Cause this is just too hilarious. I love him. He was only 50 cents. Okay, this is for my garage here. This is free on the side of the road. The guy said it just needs some bolts to put on the base, but this is the space heater. It's just gonna go out in my garage on the days that I happen to be out here you know packing and shipping and it gets a little chilly out here there's obviously no ac or heat out here my favorite price free. i'm excited about these clothes they're for me i hope they fit and they hope they work out these were only i think two bucks a piece and i didn't even notice this one still has the tag on it from ann taylor law so i got these short another pair of shorts these are just universal thread brand from target old navy and then a few pairs of ann taylor loft floral print 
pants, really loosey elastic waist, which is what I like now. I'm gonna have to try these on because they are a size X extra small. Okay, and the last of it, another freebie that I got on the side of the road. This Budweiser sign, just a plastic sign, free, worth worth looking up at home. I love picking up stuff on the side of the road. So if it's not worth me selling, then it just goes to the thrift store and it didn't go in the trash at least. And it gave me an opportunity to learn about something. So free education, basically. These little figurines, I don't know what they are. If nothing else, they're going to go in my Halloween cauldron of things I'm giving out on trick or treat night. So all those little toy bags that you get with toys that you don't want and they're not worth selling little McDonald's toys, Burger King toys, little random things. This is what I'm giving out this year. I've collected, I've been collecting since uh, last Halloween and I've got a whole bucket full. And you know, personally as a parent, I think I'd rather my kids get a little treasure versus more candy. And I have all sorts of, you know, things in here so if those toys aren't worth anything this is where they're going and the in the treasure chest and another thing that you can do with these little toys again if you get them and they're just not worth anything teachers love to get stuff like this if they have a treasure chest you know elementary school age so ask ask your teacher friends ask your kids teachers would they like stuff like this What are we doing today, Melania? Uh, we're looking at curbs. Looking at curbs. What are we looking at curbs for? To pick up stuff. Yes. So the yard sale was yesterday. There was supposed to be a thrift store that was going to come pick up all the yard sale leftovers, but they only picked up about half of it and they aren't coming back. So we're out in our golf cart and we're looking for treasures. back home and unload. I can't believe we found this much stuff at the first stop. Hold on to your hats and glasses. Got loaded down. Tons of books though. How do we do, Melania? Uh, good. Do we get another truck or another cart full? Yeah. We're racking it up. Freebies, freebies. A lot of this stuff is probably just going to go to the consignment sale that I participate in. That's not until August, so we might have a little trouble finding space to store it until then, but we'll see. You having fun? Yeah. What are we going to do with the money that we get from this stuff? Uh, trip. What trip? To Disney. To Disney World. Yes. What are you gonna do in Disney World? Uh, eat. eat. What do you want to eat when we get there? Uh, I want to eat. What kind of Dole Whip? Uh, I love you. Oh yeah, I. I love you. So it's been about two weeks since that last clip when my daughter and I were out picking up all that stuff at the curb. I've gone through pretty much everything so far and I want to show you what I got. Now this garage is still a hot mess express, bear with me. It is what it is, but let me show you what I got. Okay, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet. I may keep these for myself. It's a whole bag of outdoor pillows giant metal sculpture. This we're gonna keep brand new foam tiling that can go underneath your weight bench. We have one of these weight benches, so we'll definitely use that. I have not gone through this bag at all, but it's a giant bag of Hot Wheels tracks. I know some pieces can be 
follows. They can't be worth selling separately. So I'm going to have to go through that pretty carefully to see like if there's a launcher or something in there that might be worth selling. This looks pretty much brand new. My mother-in-law uses this at her house for her dogs. A whole bunch of Build-A-Bear clothes. I need to wash these. But it looks like we have the Buzz Lightyear set complete with his boots. They just need to be cleaned up, washed up a little bit. Not sure if that'll be eBay or consignment. And I know this might seem like a lot of work. If I can get two, three, four, five dollars off of each item, I've probably got a couple hundred dollars of free items here that I picked up. So the way I look at it is it's like somebody dropped money on the curb. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tag it and bring it to consignment sale, but that doesn't take me a whole lot of work. Free money. That's the way I'm looking at it. Some random plushies. All of these are just gonna go to the consignment sale. These aren't worth selling online at all. Just very common characters. But I'll probably be able to sell these for about five bucks each for the characters. So plushies like this one, I'll probably just get them donated. All of those books are adult novels. By adult, I mean ones that I'm probably not even old enough to read yet. They have warnings on the back of them. So those aren't things I could sell at the consignment sale at all. I feel like I ran into somebody's like hustler collection almost, but one is visual and one is you have to use your imagination. I guess that's also the difference between men and women. But anyways, there's probably like a hundred different romance novels here by many different authors. A lot of them are the same, like there's like 20 by one author, 30 by another. So what I did is I sorted them out by author and then some of them, like I had like, like I said, like 30 by one author, I divided them into series as best as I could. I really didn't do a whole lot of research, but I just looked at the cover to see what the main character was. So I listed all of those on like eBay and Mercari, etc., for about, you know, two, three bucks uh, a book you know, total throughout the lot. So like if I had 10 books, I had, you know, 20 bucks on, on the lot, you know, plus shipping. We'll see what happens. I don't really sell books a whole lot, but again, it was free. It was worth the chance. If those don't sell on eBay, all I'm out is my time. And those will just end up going into like the community library or get donated or something like that. I thought this was a funny thing to have in there. It's tissues. Why would you not just use tissues? Why would you put that in your yard sale? Random Legos in here, which I don't understand. Like if your kid still plays with Legos, just put it, take it apart and put it with their Lego collection. Minions headphones. I'm gonna give that to my nephew also. He loves Minions. Those are like his idols. I thought this was funny. French press coffee pot. They have $25 on this. Like no wonder it did not sell at the sale because this is what it sells for on Amazon brand new, 25 bucks. That was an absolute, if they would have had five bucks on this, they would have had five bucks. They would, somebody would have bought it. I'm gonna keep this little basket. Probably could use that for my business to put stuff in like scissors and stuff. Now, obviously a lot of these things aren't kids items. And, and yes, I am bringing them to the kids consignment sale because right now it's basically like a giant garage sale more than anything. Like you could pretty much bring anything there's there's very few items that you can't bring i don't understand why they make water bottles with such narrow openings like you cannot even put an ice cube in there like what the heck otherwise i would have kept that for my son it's a star wars thing but also i'm not gonna how you wash that you can't even get a bottle brush in it that's sick of it. super cute dog goggles but i don't think my dog should wear that there's some really cute doggy clothes but my dogs don't really wear clothes unless it's cold out Otherwise they get way too hot because they have all that fur. So I'll just end up selling this all together. A brand new pasta machine. I did list these two plushies. I might be able to get $25 for this guy. I only saw one of these online, so he should do okay. And then Sonic, he's probably only worth about 10 bucks, but I went ahead and listed him. Okay, this is a bunch of Little Live Pets mouse track and the wheels in there also. I think I have $45 on this. I've already listed it. Okay, these are all items that I've already listed. I just need to put them away. This is a brand new Skin Jam Facelifter Vibrating Beauty Bar. Whatever the heck that is. It looks like a vibrator for something else, but it's for your face apparently. That's what they tell you. Anyways, I think I have this listed for 25. These little mice are for that little live pets. Now, believe it or not, these look like they should go for about 25 to $30 a piece. And there was a third one, but it wasn't worth anything. So I put it with a track set. Okay, there were two watches in there. One is this one. It's a Timex watch. I just sold this one for $20 on Mercari. And here's the other one. I also have, I think, $20, $25 on this. They basically look brand new. I actually thought these were kids watches at first, but apparently they're like an athletic 
women's or men's watch. And these are still selling on Amazon for like 40 or $50. I had no idea Timex watches went for that much. Like the last I knew they were like $15, $20 watches, but I guess not anymore. These two buddies I listed together. This bear, there were a couple of them, but I think there's only like one or two of the squirrel. So I just went ahead and listed them together. I think for 25 or 30 for the pair. We'll see what happens. This electric skillet looks like I should be able to get about 25 for that. I already listed it. Now there were two of these coconut drink cup thingies from I guess when you go on vacation to like Jamaica or Mexico. I do have a cheeky room themed patio so I'm gonna put them out there. All right here's the last this is the stuff I need to list today but there's four of these rainbow prism acrylic cups. These are still selling on Amazon I think for 50 bucks for the for the set so I'm gonna try to get 20 for those. This one actually surprised me it's a Brookstone keychain projector. The last one I think sold for like 45 or 50 on eBay, there's none currently listed right now. I think I'm gonna put like 60 on it, see what happens. Now this I did see at the sale, they wanted $5 for it, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not because it's kind of beat up. So I'm gonna test this. If it does work, it's worth about 40 or $50. I think if it doesn't, it was really worth nothing. So that's why I didn't get it. I need to test this still, but these record stories usually do pretty well. This one's a little faded but the pages inside of it are still good. If it works properly, this is probably about $15. Okay, this is gonna be another gamble of my time. This is a Cat Jack thermos, brand new. Just need to get the little bit of uh, sticker residue off. But one had sold, I think for like $15. Again, for free, worth it. If I would have paid for it, it wouldn't have been worth my time, but now it's free. Now I did pick up this entire pasta maker set but it has a horrible sell through rate on it. And I also don't want to test it. It's just gonna be too time consuming. These parts here, I should be able to get about 25 to 30 for like all these different dies, wrench and stuff like that. Plus, plus the cookbook. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna donate the pasta maker itself. Anyway, so that's my haul. That's the adventure on the golf cart in the neighborhood. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a great big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.